Hello, Sookman here, and welcome back to the Hermincraft server. This is episode 13, and I've done some off-camera building, um, a bit, just a wee bit. It's mostly the boarding stuff, some repetitive stuff that we've already done in previous la uh, time lapses. So I've basically filled up the gaps that were in the last episode. Um, I've also squared off the area of the block that I want to make. I've added a parking lot over here for the headquarters, although this won't be everything. I will make one in there as well. And I've also added a new wall to the road that goes up to the headquarters, because this place needs to be safe. And I don't really fancy cars toppling over um, the side of the road. So if they're gonna topple over, might as well just crash into this banister over here. And I have used the same style as the harbor. So it will all be one uniform thing for the, for the whole city. So whenever I need to make walls for the tunnels and whatever, it will all be deep slate. Now, as you can see, this isn't completely straight. It goes down on into that section and it basically uses that entire area. Now, as you can see, I've run into a wee bit of a situation where <laughs> the cows, sheep and chickens are kind of in the way of uh, the whole structure. So first thing that I want to do is to basically move, move, I'm sorry, um, to relocate all of the animals someplace else, probably somewhere over there. But basically what I have in mind is that I will make two buildings over here and one of them will be for the cows, the other one will be for the sheep. Now I still have no idea how I'm gonna design these two buildings, but we'll, we'll sort out our first situation first, which is relocating all these animals. This is gonna be a bit of a pain. We can start with two, three, four, five. Oh, it's lagging like hell. Yep, that that's all of them. And we can destroy this fence. Okay, so... That's one done, but I need to close them all off, so... If you can also oh gently move... There we go. Now we're cooperating, there we go. Now, victim number two. One, two, three, four, five, six... No! Okay, let's try this again. One, two, three, four, five... Six, seven, eight. There we go. I will take care of those guys later. Come on, fellas. That's the second one relocated. And now all there's left is you, prankers. Oh, there's a lot more than eight chickens here. Okay. So I'm gonna need to delete some of you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, at least the chickens are in that much of a pain since they are a lot smaller. Stop laying eggs on the road. Nice. Now you guys, I can collect these two. And that's all of my animals <laughs> relocated. That was, that was not fun. That, that wasn't fun, I have to admit. I can now fill up these two gaps and if I get some powder, like so. And for the last bit, Oops. There we go. That is 
the pavement all done for this block so now what's next is to figure out how big both buildings will be and what shape will take because that building over there has quite the odd shape i don't think i'm gonna make these buildings quite the, the corner shape like this but i want i do want to make them interesting i don't want them to be just two big rectangles and that's it so i need to figure out a color palette and a plan for these two buildings so i'll get back to you guys when uh when i figure out what blocks i should use what and what plan i should use and sleep because it's getting night time <laughs> All right, so I figured out what I'm gonna do for these buildings. So I went for the idea to put in um, the color palette as the theme of what the farm is gonna be. So this will be the cow farm, as can be seen by the brown stained clay and the white concrete. And so yeah, I've gathered a bit of brown terracotta, brown stained clay, call it what you want. So now we are gonna go on super fast time lapse mode and hopefully by the end we'll have an epic apartment building with cows inside as residents. My doors are missing. Um, and I just heard the rocket, but I don't know where he ran off to. Uh, <laughs> what? I don't feel like replacing doors. Come on. And all of them. Wait. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. All of my doors are gone. Bro. Who stole my doors? I want my doors back. Poultry man, I want my doors back. Please, I need my doors back. Oh, hello mouse, I heard. Yep, there she is. Hello. I can barely hear you. But I heard my own voice back, so I know it was you. Are your doors stolen? Yes. Ah, crap. So it's an investigation, I see. Indeed, looks like we need to uh, do something about this ghost. You gotta speak to the ghost to get the door back and speak to the ghost. You kinda need to interact with the ghost. How do we how do we catch the ghost? Catch the ghost. Mm hmm. Well I am apparently undead, so I'm probably the closest person. Also I kinda wanna get revenge on the ghost because they're the reason I have the door song in my head now. <laughs> I've had it for like an hour. Fun. We may need to do a little ritual. Okay, how? Well, normally when we're summoning ghosts in the real world, we have to make the place really dark, and then what you don't do is you don't provoke them. I pulled you, man! You got don't some on my doors! Don't do that! <laughs> don't do that! <laughs> That's how you get possessed! I got a bunch of random stuff in one of the shulkers, and if I have the stuff. Up there. With a circle cap, I allow any information to come to me. You may enter this sacred space. Don't mind me, I'm just a bodyguard. Color. 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 Bright. Very bright. Ugh, my head. Check the color. 
Check the sound. Nope, nope, nope. Uh. Let's check the color, check the sun. Oh, well, that's easy. Oh, well, Yellow that's containers. Easy. Damn, you're more psychic than I am. Hello. No. Hello. No. Hello. No. Do -do -do. Cake. Lots of cake. Lots Holy crap, that's a lot of cake. Lot Jeez. Of cake. But these aren't my doors. Aren't my doors. They look delicious they are though. Not. Who do we know that has a lot of cake? Uh, Air Runner. So I think that is the clue. What, we've got to go what, to Air Runner? Air Runner is in time line though. But we could ambush him later. I see. So do we like go to his base? I do not know. I'm gonna go. Found something. Where? Down here. Oh hi! Oh hi! Oh hi, secret cave! Oh crap! I knew it! What? What? He showed me his head collection before. There's an empty space next to Lemon's head. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Um, um. I know what head was there. What a chicken head! What a chicken head! Yes. Oh, oh boy. Well, we know who the well, culprit we is. Who the culprit is. Who the ghost? Me what? Ghost. Uh -huh. what? So. I don't like the light. I don't like the <laughs> 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 As it's a cap stop, the head's one. This is gonna go very bad, I can tell. Or not. I didn't lose any health. Uh. Damn it, air runner, my, why must your base be so difficult? <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Oops. That was on purpose, I guess. If it were on purpose, I would have hit you. The amount of rockets I'm seeing going up right now is insane. Do you want me to like, do you want me to like drop a water drop bucket? No, it's alright. I have found a secret way out. By secret way out, I mean I'm digging my way out. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. He designs his base for use with a Riptide Trident. I see. So that was all extremely weird, but until I get my doors back, uh, let's continue building the cow farm.
viewers probably or nice. at least and um All right, so Aeroner, can I can I take all of my doors back? Yes, you can. Yes. It doesn't guarantee Poultryman free, by the way. No. Poultryman is still on the loose. Uh, no. Yes, Poultryman is still on the loose. As long as I have this head, Poultryman is still on the loose. <sighs> That's gonna be annoying. And there we have it. Our first block of apartments, ready to be moved in by the cows. Oh yeah, I am actually really proud of the design. I'm happy how it turned out. It was originally gonna be all gridded on that side as well, but it, it started looking very repetitive. That's why I removed those two lines over there to break it up a little bit better. Um, and on this side it's balconies instead like the first floor is just normal windows But then there's some fancy balconies because that's how apartments are actually are they have some nice balconies um, I still have the dirt scaffolding because I've done the most minuscule amount of interior I could possibly do I've also added some doors. I've added all the glass as well. I've added floors floors and roofs on all of all of the floors and I've added stairs as well. Those are all the parts that weren't included into the time lapse because those are quite boring. But here as you can see I've made some pens. It's not the prettiest but it's the most efficient. Um, so each pen will host eight cows just like how it was in my previous pen. Um, but in the meantime I've bred up some more cows so that I can have more cows in here. But each pen will contain eight cows, this staircase. Eventually I'll make it go up to the upper floors as well. There's roofs, there's also torches so that mobs don't spawn because I encountered a couple of creepers while making the roofs and that wasn't fun. So now that we have our pens ready, I've got a bunch of leads and I can go to the cow pen which is right over there and as you can see it's a bit more populated now I'm gonna do what I did back at Shinko's base when I got the original two cows I have no idea how many cows I have in here so I'm gonna get out like three or four so that's one, two, three, come on one more there we go, four, four cows and I'm gonna take you to your new uh, more enclosed home. It's a bit darker as well. Follow me. There we go. And all you four in here. There we go. Now I just gotta do that uh, four more times. How fun. Alright, next four. Get out. Man, I swear the incompetence of these cows is insane. Probably because I'm taking them to um, their dark demised place, but you know, come on, just work with me here, okay? This is for my survival. Yep, come on, that is batch number two, epic. Here we go, the next batch of cows. Insert it. And this is the the one before last batch. Come on, nice. Now, how many cows do I have remaining? That is the question. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven cows. Okay, I had more than I thought. Jeez. And this is the last batch. There we go. Now I just have two more cows to put in batch one and batch two, because batch three, four, and five. Oh, I have five cows. Nice. Come on, you two. You're the last ones of the batches. Alright, so both of you. One of you needs to go in there and the other need to go in there. So, I'll do that. That. You stay tied up there for now. You come with me. You're getting in here. No, in here. Come on. There we go. Now you... 
will get in here. Epic. So now all there is left is to breed them all up to get 8 cows in each pen. When I get all the 8 cows, I'm gonna eat like 40 wheat to, to breed all the cows. That's gonna be a lot of wheat. I don't think this farm is gonna end up sufficing anymore. Okay, now I should actually... Because when they're like this, they're very annoying to control. Like, from this angle. So usually I like to just stick up to defense itself. So I'm gonna make a slab over here. Oh, they're, now they're going crazy. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So basically, our cow farm is finished. Now we have an epic, manually industrial cow farm. Now, in floors 3, 4, 5, and the ground floor as well, I will add more interior. The cow pen will become prettier. Uh, but for now, I just wanted to make it fully functional. So, the second floor is filled with cows. Got a bunch of cows. I can see them peeking through the window. So, that is basically going to be it for this episode. We made an epic cow farm, an epic building. This is a really large building as well. It's, I think the size is on par with the headquarters, which is quite impressive. I mean, it is a block of apartments after all. Um, we got our doors were stolen, which we got them back, but like, I hope they stay there. So I hope you all enjoyed watching this video as much as I had making it. Next episode, I'm gonna try to work on the sheep farm, which will be behind the cow farm, and we'll see how that goes. So, I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye!